Hey everybody, it's a crazy fan girl Shimi. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. So today we are continuing with House of the Dragon, episode three. Um, last week was a really good episode, much more of an improvement from the first one. Again, I am joined today by the wonderful voice of God, Tommy. Hello, I'm so excited. <laughs> yeah, uh, thankfully today I've been a good little girl. I haven't seen any spoilers. I've stayed off Twitter and Tumblr. So I think we should just jump straight into this reaction and just see what happens. So again, as usual, remember to subscribe and like the video if you enjoyed it. Uh, yeah, let's jump into it. Oh, I thought that was a girl. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Oh, this is Ooh, our damn. Babe killer. What did you say? Ooh, hoo, hoo. Your false queen, Rhaenyra, is a kinslayer. Your uncle declared for Aegon. Did he? I was wondering where we were going to get to the point of what the hell this is. I'm pretty sure he's like one of the crazy killers from the book. I can't remember his name. You're both craven. Little God! <laughs> Damn, your favorite word's being used a lot today, Tommy. What? <laughs> Damn. Craven is a lovely word. <laughs> oh! Too pretty for this world. <laughs> Definitely. Oh, I love this. The showing. The look at the like showing and not telling. Grim. Grim? I don't know why, but I love it. <laughs> oh, I love the grim. Oh, they're burying them together. To keeping of those who sent him. That's very kind of Rhaenyra. Uh, yes, <gasps> Granny Tog. Granny Tog. Oh, look how it. good they look. Sorry. Soon they will not even remember what it was that began the war in the first place. Mm. That is easy enough. They usurped my throne. That's just one answer. I mean, it probably started a little more accurately when... Or was it when the child was beheaded? <laughs> or when Aemond killed Luke? That one. Yeah, I think it was that. More than the usurped oh, of the Luke throne. When Ellicent first wore the green as a declaration I of mean, war. I mean, yeah, honestly. There's a lot of pivotal moments. I do not care to read her message. What she did is not her, but the men around her who seek A raven asking for a Netflix it. password. <laughs> as you permitted the murder of a little boy in his bed. Yeah, that all. Oh. I know. I mean, Ray, we get some good wisdom here. Rain is a wrong. Sits my throat. Oh, this bitch! <laughs> <laughs> Look at him carrying the weight of the fucking hand now. Oh, the yeah, green banner. The green banner. Blech. To the king's guard, your grace, to replace those we lost. The last one needlessly, some might say. Oh. Ooh. Sir Arik was awarded the great duty of ending Rhaenyra's challenge. He failed to discharge it. He failed because the scheme was rash. Perhaps, Your Grace, but we cannot all hide in our castles waiting for water. We send a raven to Lord Tully. These houses are his vassals, are they not? He must control them. Lord Grover Tully is a flaccid old fool who can control his <laughs> cock in a curly. My God. It's <laughs> a little visceral. He's always been like that. It's gross. Harren Hall is the key to the Riverlands. I will ride out with those I can muster here, men I know. Men are trained. You need time to raise the numbers to challenge the river men. So impatient to ride with so few men. So like to be destroyed by the first stronghold you meet. But bold scheme indeed. Well, the gods favor the bold. They did not favor Sir Eric. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what say you, my king? Damn, I love this dance. I am all here for all of the tense dialogue scenes. I think they're Same. fantastic. Same, they're fantastic. So much better than last season. Also, I realized what, who that dragon is, Tommy. It's Sea Smoke. Um, Rhaenyra's old husband's dragon, so it doesn't have a rider. So it's just flying around everywhere. What price would you set? A place at your court. Oh. Ooh. The usurper. And only one of you has shown yourself to be merciful. I hope you do hey. not confuse mercy Ooh. with pliancy. I respect it. Yeah. Reyna. Oh! Your Grace. Not Bela, because I feel like we only ever talked to Bela. I've decided to send Joffrey and Stormclad. I want you to go with them. And they go. But you oh. have seen oh. what may befall them here. Poor thing. Reyna. I need you to be the mother to them that I cannot. Oh. Oh! To teach them, train them guard them as a dragon guards her eggs. And my sister? I need Bailey here. Because she has a dragon, I cannot 
promise to make you happy. But I ask you, make this sacrifice willingly for all of us. I feel like willingly, but it beats mm. a hard kick in the teeth. Yeah. Ooh, hello. Paraxis is so pretty. So beautiful. I love the tail. At least we can finally see a scene at night. <laughs> oh, God. A long night, which lasted for 80 minutes. And it was pitch black. Ooh, love this. It's a stealth mission. I don't have the patience for those. <laughs> oh. What a shot. I oh, know. Oh. That's so good. If you've not yet surmised, you are welcome here. And what of your lord, Laris Strong? Hmm? He who sits at the false court oh. of Egon. Laris Clubfoot is no lord of mine. He's a scourge upon this castle and this family. He's a fucking cunt. Oh, well, yeah, he Do not think ordered Harwin's death father. last season, sir. Yes. And his father. My nephew, Lord. So, no, you will find no loyalty to Laris Strong here, my prince. Your grace. No. No, no, no. No, David. Uh, me, I, I, um... You are the king consort at I... best. Oh, God. His hair. Oh, jeez. But at he least... was so handsome. I know. At least before he, I could look at him. Now it's gross. May I present my brother, Sir Gwen Hightower? Oh. Arrived last night from Altan. Months on the road to find my lord father, who served three kings faithfully, unseated his hand of the king. And by a man from such modest beginnings. Ooh. Excuse you. <laughs> God's bestowed on you. I mean, he ain't wrong. We have a full compliment, your grace. Then you shall have a fuller one. Don't take his shit, Alison. I oh, know. Yes, queen. The Vale and the North will send men. We must give Damon time. You have never been so exposed. Perhaps it is time for you to think about secreting yourself. He proposed to conduct the war in my absence. It would merely be a precaution. It would be treason. Oh. <laughs> yes, girl, put your foot You're down. Fortunate you took it no further. Don't this take any of that shit. Well and, uh, I love it. Their queen wears the crown of my grandsire, Jaehaerys the Conciliator, whose reign outlasted every other. Even egg on the conquerors. Woo! Thank you, Rainies. Aww. I feel bad for her. Oh, yeah, because she's a widow now, isn't she? Yeah, she was Luke's betrothed. I will be safe enough. Far away from any danger with only babes to nurse me. You do a great service. I meant no insult. We each do what we can. And here, I think, is some consolation. These eggs are even more fragile. But should all come to ruin here, you will bear our hope for the future. Oh. Mummy. Oh, oh my god, what a shot. Oh, precious. Rhaenyra coming all this way, not knowing that Daenerys will do a similar thing, but then listen to men who ruined it for her. Mm hmm. God, so sad. Oh, Helena. Her ghost stared at me. I warrant they thought oh. I had no more right to grief than they do. Mm. Surely they lose their babes more than highborn ladies. You have as much claim to grief as anyone. Oh, what a topic to discuss. And you? Oh, but my concern has been more for you and what you have endured. Oh, Helena, I, I forgive you. Oh my God, does she think that Alison's like sucking up to her when in reality so Alison's just trying to grieve with her? I thought she was forgiving her for fucking Kristen Cole. That's what I think. The night that they died. I feel like Alison actually just wanted a relationship with her though. Like that's the problem. Have you seen her relationship with her father? It's, it's terrible. Hard to yeah, there's a lot of generational trauma there. What exquisite armor. I was given the conqueror's name and his crown, so I shall wear his armor to war. Yeah, well nothing I can do about that. 
Really? That's his armor? That looks terrible. <laughs> if that's the Conqueror's armor, my god. Another is that his grace was outwitted by his counselors and persuaded Ooh. to fly to war with Sir Criston so the Queen Alicent may reign in his absence. Oh. With Prince Aemon at her side. What are you doing? This little shit! Who spreads these lies? Matters little. Me. <laughs> my life with the Rome. Ugh. You're sworn to chastity now. <laughs> <laughs> of course, Your Grace. <laughs> oh. Oops. That's Your Grace. I loved when they were all being just teenagers. Yeah. In the first episode. No, yeah, that was nice to see that in a way. I'm the son of Balon the Brave, bastard brother to Prince Damon and the late King Viserys. I think you're a little full of something, mate. Yeah. Uh oh. He's my nephew. Oh! Oh, okay. Yeah, you stopped that very quick. Dream is I. Sylvie, oh no, is he gonna walk in on Aemon? <laughs> oh. oh no! <laughs> oh, Rhaenyra. Is that a puppy? Uh, where? Looks like a little statue of a puppy. I think these are the toys our kids were playing with in the last episode. Oh, oh yeah, right. Uh, now long. Oh, oh! <gasps> She's going to read the letter! With your army at first light. Or if their wine is good, perhaps a little after first light. Call. Get to the trees! No, that's not Damon. No, that's Baylor. Damon is in the area, though, so you're correct. Oh my god, look at it diving! <laughs> Get him, Baylor. Could you be certain it was cold from such a great height? It was not such a great height, your great. <laughs> you said not to engage, so I didn't. Exactly. Your Grace. <laughs> we commit. This is why you must act now, Your Grace. Loose the dragon's root coal out and burn him. Yes. I Sounds mean, good. Yes. But I feel like Rhaenyra won't do it. She's trying to avoid war. Ho <laughs> ho! Must be the cat. <laughs> <laughs> A very big cat. Gave me the chills. Mm. Always coming and going, aren't you? And I have to clean up afterwards. Oh! Oh! Huh! Oh my god! Oh, 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 oh. oh my god! That. I kind of wasn't ready for that. <laughs> no! What oh my the gosh! Hell? Oh! Who are you? You will die in this place. Oh! Oh, the strong jawed lady that I, for I forgot about. Who is she? What do you know of the movements of Alicent Hightower? Would you take her hostage? Or kill her outright? I would speak with her myself. Huh? Killing her. So I make my way to the Red Keep, I presume, and ring the bell. What <laughs> <laughs> nice throwback! <laughs> Climb through her window. <laughs> Throw stones in her window until she answers mm. in her best nightgown. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your golden hair. Oh! <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, what a shot. Oh, that ain't no damn oh. scepter. Don't you lie to me. Look how- oh! No, no. <laughs> then not before I killed you. And then what? Oh, I've begun badly. <laughs> <laughs> you think? Order that your feckless son your sits father. to change his mind. Oh, so you say. And so your father has proclaimed to the realm. No, she's just dumb. She's dumb. Did he speak my name? Aww. Mm. Oh, poor 
for him. He said he was the prince that was promised to unite the realm. What? I desire peace as you do, but to this end. My father used those words. The prince that was promised. The prophecy. He spoke to you of the song of ice and fire. It's a story. Oh shit, he motherfucker. Alison <laughs> messed up. What about Egon the oh. Conqueror. <laughs> <laughs> Not your son, girl. But also, she Terrible must see now that she's done something and terrible. Victory may be so bloody as to be counted a loss. Do not let your pride blind you. There's a bit. No mistake. Oh, this bitch. Nah. When you come this far, how can you just say, "Oh, whoops, sorry"? Mm. No, I think this is the nail in the coffin for Rhaenyra. It's war. Oh, what a shot, dude! What a scene. Such a good scene. This season is fire with its dialogue and scenes. So good. I mean, I guess we can start with that end scene. I mean, that was really good between Rhaenyra and Alicent because they haven't had a meeting since before the death of Luke. Um, it was like that final, final dinner. Oh, The dinner yeah. scene. It didn't go so well. No, that was, was my favourite scene of the whole season. That was like season. one of my favourites, yeah. It was a really good scene. I really like, again, I think this is very much like episode one, very dialogue heavy. And even like last episode, very dialogue heavy. A lot of like character back and forth. I, I yeah, with that last part of the episode, I think, it, yeah, again, I think definitely is the nail in the coffin for Rhaenyra in terms of proceeding with the war. I think now she's like, there's no turning back now. Like, they have to go ahead especially because now sh i think in her mind now she probably is like no i am still the rightful heir to the throne the prophecy was misread by alison thinking that it was supposed to go to her her son oh uh, that that's so sad that that miscommunication a hundred percent started so much oh my god and alison knows now it, she definitely realizes <laughs> no yeah I, and again like but... olivia who plays alison <laughs> really portrayed that beautifully in her face like you can see her like almost panicking instantly like oh shit like i i actually like fucked up and then she immediately i love how she panics and immediately goes back to like her regal like there is no nothing is changed like this must proceed i think in that moment both of them realize there is no turning back it's too far gone and i love how Kinda they is. and i love how they start that conversation with how with men, like, these men who are bloodthirsty for war and for battle, and it's like, yes! And then we have these two women in this quiet moment trying to, like, converse about the start of this war. It's just so... Ah, oh, I don't know. It's just so good. I really, really loved that scene. Uh, yeah, it was fantastic. And that Alison let her go as well. Yeah, I was afraid for a second that she was going to be like, God, seize her! But no, thankfully not. I don't know. I expected a little bit more from Rhaenyra to kind of smooth it out. She mm. didn't... She just came there and told Alison that she's just wrong. I think so. <laughs> I think Rhaenyra... I think this is the thing, and I think it's very much like sort of what we were talking about with Rhaenyra, I think, last time, or I'm not sure if we did. But, like, I feel like she's so stuck in her argument that the throne is hers. And she's not wrong. It's She is the heir to the throne. But also, you know, she has to understand where all sides are coming from in terms of this argument. Like, she has brothers and sisters as well, you know. And um, the whole thing with Alison, like, she needs to understand that it's not just, oh, okay, like, the prophecy was misread, I am the heir to the throne. Um, that's it. And even with Rhaenys, like, at the beginning of the episode, sort of, I'm jumping back and forth here a little bit, but, like, even Rhaenys at the beginning was like, yes, but there has also been a lot of build up to that moment not just with her becoming the heir to the throne so she needs to understand yeah. that it's not just her it's a bigger picture it's not just about Rhaenyra which I like it puts it into perspective uh, so what about um, Aegon walking in on Aemond oh you want to talk about the most awkward part oh, of the episode dude I did oh, I mean I was yeah I was very shocked <laughs> by certain parts of it but like I I, I, I do feel for a Aemond in a way because yeah I mean like I think he does have a little bit of victim mentality where he's like you know he does feel bad for himself in terms of being bullied and feeling like he has more potential I think um I did feel a little bit bad for him because I hate Aegon as well 
just like he's a bit of a douchebag especially in the world of game of thrones it's like all about like how like of a man how much of a man you can be or like how much of the better man you can be at something and especially in terms of this case <laughs> <laughs> what did you think of the scene i thought it was weird um a little upsetting i'm not quite sure what the end game is with aegon to continue behaving like that no yeah like promoting his drinking buddies to the king's guard oh Ugh. i didn't realize how much i would miss otto hightower i know but he's not here and all i can think is oh thank god he's not here to see that shit i know he'd he'd sort of be like rolling around in the red keep being like what is going on like <laughs> <laughs> Just make them stop. <laughs> stop. I can't control them. And yeah, I think, like, even with talking about Aegon, I think, like, we saw, I feel like for a split second, we saw that king mentality from him, where he sort of put himself, sort of put his foot down to the, the new king's guard, like his friends, and was like, yes, but you're, you know, chastity now. And for a second, you could see, like, him being a king, being like, yeah, no, you can't do that anymore. But then I think because he's so used to being, you know, he's able to do whatever he wants and he's able, because he's a man and also because, like, you know, he's king, he went sort of reverted back to, like, his, like, ways of, like, you know, drinking and going out into, like, all these brothels and things. So it was, like, very interesting to sort of see that split second moment of him sort of acting like a king, even though he's a douchebag, and then him reverting to, like, his douchebaggery. I was like, okay, like, he cannot change. Yes. More development. That bloke, whose name I don't remember, in the in the pub, Ooh, who was Ulf? saying that he's a Targaryen. Yeah, oh, Ulf. Ulf. It's such a weird name, Ulf. Um, yes, uh, that is very interesting. I mean, I'm not sure if it's true or if it's, like, real. Like, if it is, that will be very interesting. <laughs> well, like, I don't know. I'm interested to see if that's... A real thing or if it's a like another fake thing yeah we're no stranger to imposter targaryens exactly like, he didn't make it into the show but he was in the books the other aegon yes that is true you know, there's not a no shortage of aegons but um, <laughs> there was that other one <laughs> and we still don't know because he hasn't finished the books yet that i was know a real one or not. <laughs> so i wonder if yeah we're going down the same path with this guy yeah i think it'll be really interesting to see further development in that i think we'll definitely see that sort of be uncovered in the next few episodes i think definitely well rainier has sent off her children with the the dragonless one yes Raina. i always forget who she is Raina. Thank you. oh my god <laughs> don't worry i'm writing it i'm writing it all done stage. i'm writing it all down so Raina, um from what i know apparently she is the last ever dragon rider so like i feel like there is a heavy importance to her leaving with those dragon eggs, obviously. Um, I'm not sure if it's hinting towards, you know... The Daenerys eggs? Exactly. That's what I was just about to say, yeah. I'm, I'm not sure if it's supposed to, like, be a thing for that. I think it'll be interesting if it does, because then it just means, like, oh, this is what happened to the eggs, and this is how it ended up. And also because I think that's what they say. Like, I bought... that the In Game of Thrones Season 1, the guy's like, I bought these eggs from... Where is it? Pendos? Yeah. That's what I wrote down. So uh, the Shadowlands beyond a shy, I think. Oh, okay. I might be wrong then. Um, I might just made that up. Um, but yeah, I think <laughs> I think it's interesting. So I think it'll be cool to see if that's like further developed either this season or next season. Yeah, and I feel I feel bad for Rhaenyra sending away her children. That shot of her little boy like holding onto her hip, I was like, oh my god, the oh, soul. That was very sad. Yeah, I was like, oh god, that's so sweet and so sad. Just like, it's so sad that like Rhaenyra has seen so much death in terms of motherhood. Like, not only losing her mum to like giving birth to her brother but also her losing her children like one by one whether it's to death or whether it's to like protect them it's like oh Rhaenyra like she couldn't be the mother that she really wanted to be which is so sad also um Damon's gonna die in Harrenhal huh yeah so it's prophesized basically or like sort of like we already know from Game of Thrones we know prophecies just get forgotten at the end and we don't care (laughs) um (laughs) But maybe we'll do it differently this time. Yeah. I mean, I love that. Oh, dude, that whole scene with the, with young Rhaenyra, like, 
Hey, Millie, welcome back to the show. Oh, Dude, that hurt. Like, oh, God, that was so... Hurt. I love it, though, because this is... I think this is what we were talking about in the last few episodes of Damon being, like, sort of, like, worried about his sort of, like, guilt for these situations. So the fact that we saw it, especially with that little boy, bleh, and just her saying, like, I'm fixing all your messes. It's like, oh, God, oh, Jesus, it's so yuck. Even though there was no yeah. blood or anything, it was so visceral. Blood to unpack there. Yeah. I don't know, I feel like that's really, like, ugh, it's yuck. Uh, I like the scene, but also, ugh, yuck. So, good episode. Not yes. quite as sharp as the last one, but this one did really good. Agreed. Found every episode pretty good so far. I think it's good. I think it's like, again, like, I love that, you know, like, we have, like, these lower episodes with these dialogues and stuff, and then we have, like, a lot more, like, you know, there was a little bit of tension with the whole Harren Hall scene, um, but I, I like that in, like, it almost is in every second episode, there's these really big, high tense situations. So I feel like... Yeah. I mean, I don't know about what's going to happen next episode, but, like, I think next episode is definitely going to hype up because this, like, the, 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 the path to war has been paved. Sorry, talking about war, path to war, just off topic really quick, let's just we really quickly touching on Laris Strong, the little snake. Uh, I was hoping we could just not talk about him. I know, him go away. I know, but we have to. Um, oh, fine. He's just wiggling his way into the red qu red keep, sorry. Um, and like I've said, I think he's definitely paving a spot for himself within all of this. And obviously he's become the, what was it, the Whisperer? Yeah, Master of Whisperers. Yeah. So, I don't like him, but uh, I guess we'll see what happens <laughs> with him later. Yeah. Yes. Definitely like the bastard child of Varys and Littlefinger. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we don't need to talk about him anymore. I know you hate him, so they're just a quick <laughs> touch on. <laughs> well, you know, I li I'm also kind of enjoying the fact that his family despises him I and sees right yes. through his bullshit. Love it so much. Chef's kiss. I don't. I can't remember what happens to him, but I'm looking forward to his ultimate demise if he does die. I hope he does. Um... But yeah, I think that's it. Do you want to bring anything else up, Tommy? No, I think you've done a great job. You've taken way more notes than I have. Yes. <laughs> I'm way... <laughs> I'm terrible... I'm, I take too many notes, I think, for my own good sometimes. <laughs> anyway. Nah, not at all. Oh, you're cute. Well, thank you for joining us again, Tommy. I appreciate it. Well, thank you for having me. Of course, always. Um, so again, guys, thank you guys for watching this video. Really appreciate it. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please remember to like it and subscribe. And let us know down in the comments if you want to uh, what you thought of this episode and what you think may happen next episode. But for now, thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Crazy Bingo out. Woo!